Okay, so since you want to continue to write about scientific fiction, your first book, Pentagon Sprints, and your second book also has been, are you planning to uh, write a third book? Are you planning to have a series? Yes, I do plan to have a series. Um, for the people who read my book, Pentagon, uh, Pentagon Springs and Breaking Boundaries, and especially in Breaking Boundaries, the cliffhanger I left, I don't want to leave them there forever. So I do plan to write a third book to move on ahead into the story. Great. So cliffhangers, hang in there for some more time till Abhav comes with his third book. Uh, great. So um, how about the illustrations in your book? Do you write them or does anybody help you? Do your parents help you write them? I did all the illustrations uh, in both Pentagon Springs and uh, Breaking Boundaries. Uh, I just usually, you know, just take some time off in my free time, in fact, and I just draw the pictures, um, shade and do things like that, and then I just send them off to get them illustrated in the book. Great. So a full-on uh, author and uh, also into illustrations. Great. Um, so let me ask you an interesting question, Arnav. Uh, I know that your character, ja uh, Jack, in, in, in this uh, book, has some magical powers. So let's think that you get some magical powers for a day. What would you like to do? Well, that is a really uh, good question. Um, interesting one, though. In fact, if I had magical powers, I would probably think they would disappear. So I would probably just... I've, I've always, as as my you know fanatic for particle physics, I've always wanted to know: Can you teleport? Can you um, time travel back in time? And with magic, you can. And so, especially in this book, magic is like ma when magic and technology meet. So it's like a technology magic. So it's more like a futuristic kind of thing. So with this futuristic. Um, mind and the magic powers Jack has, if they were into me, um, then I would probably, you know, um, jot down notes or, you know, just make me find some. How does teleportation work? What do you need for teleportation? And how does time travel work? And, you know, what does time travel need to time travel? And that's what I would do for if I had magic just like Jack. Whoa, time traveling. Oh, that's, that's going to be very interesting. I hope your third book uh, would cover some pieces of it. Uh, great. So uh, tell us some more interesting facts about you, type of food you like, what you like to do. Any, any interesting fact that you would want to talk to about uh, to our audience today? Mm -hmm. I am born on October 31st. That's right. It's Halloween. Ooh. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> But even though I was born on Halloween, I don't like chocolate. So I get all these abundances of chocolate, and I don't know what to do with them. In fact, every time I, my birthday comes around, we travel to a different country. So one birthday, we went to Ireland. Another, we went to Spain and Portugal. Another one, we went to Cancun, Mexico, and so on. So do you do so you have been visiting a lot of different countries and um, you know a interesting uh, culture mm -hmm. that you've been going through mm -hmm. so what about the food do you like uh, are you a foodie do you like to try different cuisines yeah in fact to we kind of do this because we like to explore the cultures like what is Halloween and like in other places is it Halloween there is a completely different thing so there's like a whole new something there like it's like even that to it, it adds to my imagination. So many myths and legends, like in Ireland, they're like Irish legends, and in Cancun, they're like Spanish legends and myths and things like that, like the Quetzalcoatl. And in I in in Ireland, there's like you know Saint Patrick, and there's so many cultures and different foods, and there's also the Hagies in Portugal, which was very interesting too, and especially India too. In fact, my favorite food leading from India, my favorite food is dosa and chutney uh, and idli too. It's just, um, it just really tastes really good and India is my um, heritage country. So that's one of the things I like. Great, that's, that's really good to know. I'm sure the audience would love to know more about you and uh, we will see you soon. So Arnav, 
I uh, read in your blog that uh, you want to become, uh, you know, your career aspiration is to be a particle physicist. So tell us more about this career. That's a very interesting career. How did you think about it? And when did you start uh, looking at it and start aspiring to be one? Well, it started all when I was in kindergarten. In fact, when I minute, the minute I heard the word atom, I was fascinated. Science has always fascinated me ever since I was small. And even to this day, it's one of my uh, best subjects. So I just really like particle physics. In fact, in fifth grade, we did a pursuit of passion. And pursuit of passion was we did we had to research on a career and what we, we would do if we were to grow up and what steps we would take. And aspiring to become a particle physicist was my almost my dream. So at that point, I was like, particle physics is the only thing I want. And as usual, sometimes the mind will change. So as I started progressing on, I started to grow a liking in politics and especially in acting too. So to this day, I'm still kind of debating between acting or um, particle physics or politics. They're all just so intriguing to me and I just really like those areas. But as of right now, I have a career as an author, a speaker, and a model. Wonderful, that, that is a lot of career again <laughs> for a 12 year old, I must say. So. Um, Again, I, I heard you talk about cooking some time back, so are you also into cooking? What do you cook? Well, I cook for my mom and dad sometimes, uh, tea and sometimes omelet too. Um, I watch cooking channels and sometimes they do like these weird things with the food and sometimes I try it too. And during one sometimes I, for my free time, I cook with my mom as a like, great way of spending time together and sometimes um, I like to cook by myself too and find out what I can do. Again, I, I agree because cooking again is a great art and you need a lot of creativity also in terms of presentation, etc. So um, you spoke about so many different uh, careers that you are thinking about or you're juggling with so many uh, existing uh, careers right now. What do you look at yourself in the next five years? Do, do you um, plan what needs to be done? Do you look at your future right now? What do you think you'll be at uh, in, in the next five years? Well, I only plan one day ahead. I, I just think the universe conspires and just creates a path just for you. And I just want to let the universe, um, sometimes the universe trying to conspire you and sometimes if you really want something the universe will most likely give it to you so I think whatever the universe whatever path uh, the universe gives to me I plan to follow it to the fullest potential wow that is a lot of philosophy for a 12 year old so you believe to uh, you know in going with the flow uh, as as whatever the universe has to offer and I'm sure you're going to get a lot of offers from the universe right and I'm sure the audience will agree with me. So um, do you want to share something interesting, any happy moments that you recently uh, experienced, Arnav, with our audience today? Yes, uh, one of the recent and most happiest moments was um, every, every ki child, you know, uh, kind of dreams about when they're they going to work, how is it going to be like when they work? And that day just like, you know, dawned upon me, in fact, Recently, I signed my Texas Workforce Commission papers, my W-2s, and my income tax papers. And I was just like, I was um, surprised, I was speechless, and I was actually, you know, earning money, and, and it was just like one of the most happiest moments I have ever had. Yeah, that is great. W-2 at this age is really, really commendable, and I'm sure I, I can imagine your happiness about that. So uh, I'm sure there are a lot of our uh, young audience who are watching us today. Uh, do you have any tips for them, Arnav? Uh, do you want to share some things with them that they should follow as if they are, uh, you know, aspiring to be authors like you? Yes. Um, one tip for any author that's out there is there are no boundaries in life. The only boundaries are set by your mind. You can do anything you want to do. If you think it, you can do it. Great message. That was really a wonderful message from Arnav to all you kids 
who want to do something, not just be an author, but any, any career that you want to pursue, wonderful. I am really amazed and awestruck with Arnav, and I hope the audience are too. So all the kids who are here uh, spending their summer vacation, we have two wonderful books for you, and you probably should be reading them and, and uh, explore the worlds that Arnav has. Uh, but uh, before I end this, I do have uh, one last question for you, Arnav. Is, um, both your books have been on scientific fiction. Are you also planning to uh, explore other uh, genres like you know, comedy, horror, or, or any other drama, any, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Well, I think like you know with comedy, drama, and all these kinds of and horror too, like there's like a like a boundary. Like you know, in comedy you have to make someone laugh. In drama, you know, it's all you have to make them like some drama. And in horror, you have to make the person scared. And they're all just elements to that. You can't really, you know, have some funny moments in a horror movie. It's probably just only scary. And with that, like science fiction is you can do anything you want. In science fiction, you can have someone teleport from here to San Francisco. In science fiction, you can turn into a blob and disappear. You can do anything you want. Anything, maybe a, th a three-year-old will tell you said something weird. If that three-year-old were to write that in a book and make it into a science fiction, it doesn't really matter because in science fiction, you can do anything you want. The boundaries are limitless. Thank you, Arnab, and, and we wish you all the best for a great career. Whatever you decide to be, we wish you all the best. Thank you, audience. I hope you enjoyed this show as much as we did uh, having Arnab with us.